This is Mini Cooper Electric SE, one of the cheapest or affordable EV in the market. And this is RR01, world's most cheapest supercar with V10 engine. And now if you see their price tag, then you will find that the Mini Cooper Electric SE costs $31,900, whereas the RR01 just cost only $27,000. Clearly $49 less than the Mini Cooper Electric SE. So today we're diving deep into the world of electric vehicles and find out that why EVs are too expensive. So, hey everyone and welcome back to Auto Axle. From today, I'm starting a new series where we will discuss more information about transportation industries. So, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. With that said, welcome to Explicate. Dissecting every line from science to philosophy We break it all down, make it shine So grab your coffee, open your mind Prepare to be amazed Wordplay, acrobatics Knowledge we raise from history's echoes To future's unknown embrace Welcome to Explicate Robert Anderson was a 19th century Scottish inventor Best known for inventing the first crude electric carriage in Scotland around the time of 1832 to 1839. The carriage was powered by non-rechargeable primary power cells. Let's start with the heart of every electric vehicle, the battery. Cutting edge lithium ion battery technology is a key component, providing the power needed for these clean machines. However, the production of high performance batteries involves expensive materials, intricate manufacturing processes and stringent safety standards. From cathodes to anodes and electrolytes to separators, each component of an electric vehicle battery incurs costs. Raw materials like lithium, cobalt and nickel, which are crucial for battery performance, can be volatile in the market, affecting the overall cost. Now let's understand that how a lithium battery works. A lithium battery has four major components, anode, cathode, electrolyte, and separator. As we know that the lithium has the highest tendency to lose electron in electrochemical series, and it has only one electron in the outermost orbit, and it always wants to lose it. So lithium is present in the form of lithium oxide at anode where lithium is more stable. When we connect a power source at anode and cathode, then the electron of lithium in lithium oxide gets attracted, and by using the external paths of power source, they move towards cathode where graphite layer is present and the electron gets stored there, and in the meantime, positively charged lithium atom also travel through the electrolyte and got back its electron at cathode and gets stored at graphite layer, and this process caused the lithium battery fully charged. So the step one is completed, let's move towards step two, where now the lithium battery is fully charged and lithium atoms has got an unstable state. Now when we connect a load to the battery, lithium ions travels through the electrolyte where separator is present, and this separator doesn't allow electron to pass through, and it only allows lithium ions to pass through it. Now lithium ions get attached to metal oxide again. And in this meantime, electron also use an external path of connected load and travel back to the lithium ions at anode. And we know that when electron flows in a wire, it means electric current is flowing in the wire and which operates the connected load. If you want to know more about how lithium battery works properly, then check out Lesix's this video link in description. Now let's move further. To ensure electric vehicles meet safety, efficiency and performance standards, extensive research and development are required. Automakers invest heavily in R&D to enhance battery technology, optimize electric drivetrains, and improve overall vehicle efficiency. These investments, although necessary, contribute to the overall cost of EVS. Compared to traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, the production scale of electric vehicles is still relatively limited. Mass production helps reduce costs in the automotive industry, and as the demand for electric vehicles grows, we can expect economies of scale to come into play, gradually bringing down prices. Currently, there are only few countries having a proper lithium mines, and they are United States, Portugal, Chile, Argentina, Brazil, Zimbabwe, China, Australia. Right now, Chile has the largest lithium reserves worldwide by a large margin. Australia comes in second, with reserves estimated at 6.2 million metric tonnes in 2022. Government regulations, while promoting clean energy, also play a role in the cost of electric vehicles. Stringent emission standards and safety regulations often necessitate additional engineering and technology advancements. 
On the flip side, some governments offer incentives and subsidies to promote the adoption of electric vehicles, which can offset costs for consumers. Nowadays, many countries has also made some policies for the EV sector. As like in India, government had recently made some new policies for the EV industries. The new policies are 1. To reduce import taxes for automakers willing to commit to local manufacturing. 2. To encourage more substantial investments and boost domestic electric vehicle production. 3. Embrace cleaner and more sustainable transportation alternatives. 4. Embrace benefits of economies of scale. As the electric vehicle market matures and technology evolves, we can anticipate a decrease in production costs. Advancements in battery technology, increased production volumes, and a competitive market will likely contribute to more affordable electric vehicles in the future. In conclusion, the high cost of electric vehicles is a complex interplay of factors, from cutting-edge battery technology to research and development investments. As the automotive industry continues to innovate and governments push for cleaner transportation, we can expect the landscape to evolve, making electric vehicles more accessible to all. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of electric vehicles. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of electric vehicles, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more insightful content, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, drive safe and stay curious.